Out in Washington, big news this morning as former acting attorney general Matthew Whitaker comes under fire. House Democrats making claims of possible perjury. Our ABC correspondent Mona Kosar Abdi has more. A bombshell report from the New York Times putting the spotlight back on former acting attorney general Matthew Whitaker and his relationship with the president. He's a very fine man and he should be given a lot of thanks by our nation. According to the Times, the president pressured Whitaker, then head of the Justice Department, to interfere in the investigation into his personal attorney Michael Cohen, an investigation that centered around several hush money payments made to women who claimed to have had affairs with Trump. Trump vehemently denying the claims. No, not at all. I don't know who gave you that. Just more fake news. The report states the president asked Whitaker to put a person he believed would be more sympathetic in charge of the case, specifically U.S. Attorney Jeffrey Berman, who had recused himself because of his ties to the president's lawyer, Rudy Giuliani. During a congressional hearing earlier this month, Whitaker did not deny discussing the investigation with the White House. I will continue the long-standing executive branch practice of not disclosing information that may be subject to executive privilege. But this morning, House Democrats examining if Whitaker committed perjury when he stated this under oath. At no time has the White House asked for, nor have I provided, any promises or commitments concerning the special counsel's investigation or any other investigation. Last week, the Senate confirmed William Barr as Trump's new attorney general. Barr also drew criticism for his comments criticizing the Russia investigation. Monaco Sarabdi, ABC News, Washington.